What's up guys, it's Alexander Travel Bum. Today, we're gonna learn how to pack for Southeast Asia. I spent five months going all around the area uh, about a year ago, and I'm gonna do it again. So, let's go over my packing list and the essential items that I forgot last time that I know about now, and you're gonna have everything you need for when you go. All right, so you can take a backpack or you could take a suitcase. I usually travel with a backpack. But either way, this video is gonna be useful for you because the backpack that I use, the Nomadic, is kind of a mix between a backpack and a suitcase. So you'll be packing the same way, the same things. And also, it doesn't matter how long you're gonna go. I would pack the same exact stuff if I was going for two weeks or two years. So since Southeast Asia is hot, it's really hot for the most part. You're not gonna need a bunch of bulky jackets and things like that. So you can get away with a 40 liter bag like this. And this one fits perfectly into carry-on spaces. And if you carry on, then when you take your budget flights between countries in Southeast Asia, you're not gonna have to pay extra fees. All right, so the way this bag works is it actually opens from the back. Extra security here. So if you can, you're gonna want a front-loading backpack, which means that it opens up like this, like a suitcase. All right, so let's start with clothing first. So, pants. You really don't have to have pants. You can just wear shorts probably the whole time you're in Southeast Asia. But I like to at least have one or two pairs of pants with a really lightweight material. That way it's light in your bag and it's better for the hot weather. So you can just roll this up and stick this right in here or you can use a packing cube. And then you're gonna want a pair of shorts, just an everyday pair. You can wear out on the town, wear every day, wherever you are. Again, something light, a lightweight material. You have your bathing suit, which obviously you're gonna be wearing this a lot. So there's one pair of pants, one pair of shorts and a bathing suit, which you can also wear as a pair of shorts. So you kind of have two there. So I usually grab five shirts in all, and usually I'll do maybe four t-shirts because I like to wear t-shirts. And again, take a look at these. They're all pretty light in color because it gets hot. So I like to wear black, but it's a little too hot for that in Southeast Asia. So you'll just be more comfortable if you pick light, colored things and also lightweight again like see this this is really light it's almost see-through I got this in Vietnam so you can also pick up shirts while you're there and we're gonna put this in the backpack I take three pairs of underwear and you're asking how can you get by with only three pairs like that's that's gross but actually what I take is this travel underwear it's called ex officio and this underwear is amazing. It feels awesome, it's moisture wicking, and they say that you can wear one pair over and over and over, and it's odor resistant and cleanly, and so I only take three of these, and you can wear them multiple times. So this, just three of these, it saves room, and it's about a week's worth of underwear. There's girl underwear too. I actually have a pocket up here where you can put socks and underwear. So there's the underwear, and then I bring, I don't know, five pairs of socks, and here's a little packing hack. You can use a rubber band to keep everything together. So there's five, five pairs of socks. All right, next you're gonna want a jacket. Even though you think that it's always gonna be hot in Southeast Asia, and usually it is. The thing is, when you get in these buses and trains and sometimes hostels and hotels, they crank up the AC and it is really cold. So you wanna get a jacket that can compress a little bit. And so I put that jacket in this bag and this bag, you can just squeeze it, get the air out, and it compresses down a lot. All right, so shoes. Of course, everyone's style is gonna be different, but if you can find some shoes that aren't laced up, that you can just slip on and slip off, this is great in Southeast Asia because you're probably gonna be going into temples and pagodas and you always take off your shoes for that. And even some hotels and hostels at the door, they like you to take off your shoes. 
and I had boots last time I went, I had lace-up shoes and I had to undo them and redo them all the time. And another little hack is you can use a shower cap to put your shoes in to keep everything from getting dirty. But this one I got at the dollar store and it's way too small. So. But lucky for me, I have this backpack, which at the bottom of this backpack, they have a shoe compartment. So you don't get everything else dirty or smelling bad from your shoes. So you put that in there. And since we're on the subject, flip-flops. You're gonna want flip-flops in Southeast Asia. Some people, flip-flops is all you wear. All right, next, this is optional, but this is a blow-up pillow. And you know, sometimes you might be couch surfing or you might have to you know, sleep on the ground or it's even good for buses and long ch train rides. But if you have a pillow that you can blow up, then look, it doesn't even take any space at all. So you can just put this somewhere in your bag. This is the Grail purifying bottle. And this is great. You're gonna need a lot of water when you're walking around in Southeast Asia. And you'll buy a lot of bottles, it's a lot of plastic, and usually they just throw things away over there and it, it doesn't even get recycled. So it's great to have this water purifying bottle. And this one is awesome. It's the only one as far as I'm concerned. So you can check this out below. I take this with me wherever I go now. It has this waterproof pocket here that's meant for water bottles. So if a little bit spills, it doesn't matter. It's not gonna get on all of your stuff. All right, another thing that's a lifesaver in Southeast Asia, I think everybody needs this. You should get a USB powered mini fan. This one's cool because it clamps on. So if you're in a hostel or even a hotel that doesn't have AC, you can clamp this up on a shelf, clamp it on the bed if you're in a bunk and it's just right there set it up somewhere and it can get to you all night. I use one of these almost every day in Southeast Asia unless I have the AC blasting. And what you might need with this and another lifesaver in Southeast Asia is a power bank. Now you can find power banks that are like five dollars, ten dollars, but you should get a good one. I've linked to a really good one below this one. And something like this can charge your phone about 10 times. It can keep this fan going all night. Charge all your extra stuff if you're on long flights or train rides and you don't have anywhere to charge your stuff. We have MacBook, which in this backpack we can put, oh, and put right here another essential. This is a travel towel. Let me show you the difference really quick. Oh, look how bulky this is. Then this. You can fit about 10 of these in this. And so if you really need more space, you should get one of these. It's also quick drying. And so you can wring it out and put it in your bag pretty much right away and it's gonna dry out. These will stay wet and then everything is gonna get that mildew smell over time. Wet wipes or and or some toilet paper. There are some places in Southeast Asia that might there are some places in Southeast Asia that there are some places in South, there are some places in Southeast Asia that might not have toilet paper, and so it's always good to have it on you just in case. Another essential is earplugs and an eye mask, especially in hostels, but sometimes hotels. It can be pretty uh, pretty noisy in Southeast Asia, especially in the big cities with all the honking and everything. So, and yet another essential, this is a sink stopper. So sometimes it's hard to do your laundry when you're on the road and sometimes it just actually costs a lot because it's just the tourists who are getting it done. So I bring a sink stopper with me, throw it in the sink, fill up the sink, maybe put a little soap in there, some shampoo, anything. You can even bring some some laundry detergent, which is what I did last time. I don't have any with me right now, but you put that in the sink, put your clothes in there, let them soak, wring them out in the shower, and you've done sink laundry for free. Travel tubes. This is the same for anywhere you go, but you're gonna need these for your shampoo, conditioner, you know, that kind of thing. The one thing I do want to talk about is sunscreen. You should bring some if you use it and you're pale, because when you get to Southeast Asia, some of these countries, you're not going to be able to find it that easily. When you do, it's meant for tourists, so it's going to be expensive. And the stuff that is not expensive, a lot of times it has whitener in it. So over time it lightens your complexion. 
<laughs> and you probably don't want that. All right, a rain jacket, but a compressible one. See how small this gets? You're gonna want something like that. All right, so you're gonna want a day pack, something that you can bring around when you leave your big pack at the hotel. So, you want something that doesn't have a rigid back because you're gonna wanna roll it up so that you can stick it in here. So see this, a lot of backpacks, they have that stiff back, which is comfortable, but you want something really light and foldable. So when you're not using it, roll it up like this, stick it in there. I highly suggest, if you can afford it, maybe get a used one if you don't have one already, a GoPro, because you're gonna wanna take it into the water, take it into the sea, you know, do some jumps off some cliffs, and just a GoPro is great to have, especially for a place like Southeast Asia. You should get this, it's a mouth mount, so you put your GoPro on there and then stick it on your mouth, so if you're snorkeling or something like that, and then an ape case. I've been using these, you can get different sizes so that it fits perfectly in your backpack. You can get a bigger one, different sizes, different colors, it's pretty much waterproof. It's a little bit padded so it keeps your gear really safe. Just put that in there. Then, this isn't mandatory, but you might want to have it just in case. International driver's permit. You can get these pretty easy, they cost about $20, and that means that you can legally drive a scooter, drive a car or something when you're there. Alright, and then this is a passport wallet. It's great because it's bigger than a regular wallet, it holds your passport in there. Besides your passport, it can hold your extra things global entry card, extra credit cards if you want. Just keeps everything safe and they have different styles, different colors and everything. I love this thing. All right, let's try this thing on. Okay, here it is. The nomadic, fully packed backpack for Southeast Asia. If I forgot something, let me know because I need to know, and everyone else needs to know down below. So leave a comment if there's anything extra, or if you think I packed too much. All right, I will see you guys in the next video.